Hello, Dr. Yoma. I'm Professor Johnson. This is Kiba Charles, and I will be doing the introduction for our community assessment. Our community assessment was done in Washington Village, Town, and the authors are myself, Kiba Charles, Kiva Ramsey, Shana Groom, Tanika Lee, and Judy Busong. Welcome to the historic Pick Town. Come take a journey with us. Pick Town culture is about community, family, fun, and love. Pig Town, also known as Washington Village, is a neighborhood in the Southwest District of Baltimore, bordered by Martin Luther King Boulevard with University Maryland Baltimore campus on the east and Monroe Street to the west, Russell Street to the south, and the B&O Railroad to the north. Uh, the neighborhood acquired its name in the 19th century where the pigs were actually herded across the streets in order to get to the butcher shops that were located in that pig town area, hence the name pig town. Pig town is a community of renters, homeowners, and businesses. Residents are socially, racially, and economically varied, making pig town one of the most diverse neighborhoods in Baltimore City. Pig Towners are very proactive in their community organization, contributing to the growth, quality of life, and improvement of their town. Pig Town, energetic community, diversity, value, growth, and great location continues to attract new residents, businesses, and development. Big things are happening for, for Pig Town. The neighborhood is growing. There are a lot of new uh, developments, such as townhomes, condominiums, apartments. Um, the residents of uh, Pig Town is very community oriented. They got a lot of team spread for the Orioles and the Ravens. And they are actually in a unique position to grow their residents because they're located near the stadiums, near the Inner Harbor, near the Biopark. And actually the homes in this location are very reasonable and it can fit in any budget. Walking through the streets of Pig Town is actually very clean. There are a lot of private owned businesses and stores. Um, you can see that this community is actually growing. Uh, new town home developments, condominiums and apartments. Um, just to talk about a little statistics about this community. Um, they say that 2.4 residents per household actually live in one, you know, live together. And um, looking at the poverty rate, you can see that in Pig Town, um, it's actually significantly greater than in the Baltimore City. Um, even though uh, this may look bad on the surface, um, looking when you walk around this community, you can definitely see an atmosphere of young professionals working and giving back to the community and it has created a culture of responsibility for bettering this community. Uh, from the name, you can guess that Pig Town is a fun place to live. It is one of the most diverse neighborhoods and the homes and rental prices are very inexpensive. Uh, the age distribution of uh, Washington Village compared to Baltimore City. First, I would like to mention the total population of the Baltimore City, uh, which is 600,000. 16,802 and the total population of Washington Village was 5,503. Um, looking at the age distribution, uh, they were pretty much uh, even except for uh, the ages 24 to 44. There was a significant difference there where Washington Village was 37.6 and Baltimore City was 28.8. Another significant difference was um, in age 65 and older, the Washington Village was 8.1 and the Baltimore City was 11.8. This is an actually um, a graph just uh, showing you the difference that you can actually visualize it 
rather than just um, hearing um, the words. And you can definitely see the difference that I was talking about within the age group of 25 to 44 and um, 65 and over. This is um, the gender distribution, uh, the percentage of men and women in Washington Village compared to Baltimore City. Uh, we can definitely see there's a higher rate of men um, in the Washington Village versus Baltimore City. And there's actually a lower rate of women in Washington Village compared to Baltimore City. Looking at this pie chart, this is a pie chart of uh, the race and ethnicity uh, distribution within Washington Village compared to the Baltimore City overall. And I think with uh, Washington Village, there's actually there's actually more diversity where it comes to a balance uh, between um, African American and the white population. There are uh, actually almost the same. Whereas in Baltimore City, uh, the African population is quite greater than the white population. As I've said before, Picktown is a town full of diversity. Uh, when you compare the white population to the African American population, they are actually uh, very close. And they live together, they're unsegregated, they go to the same schools, and I think that this is very unique to the Baltimore, the Baltimore downtown area. Looking at the socioeconomic characteristics of the Washington Village and Baltimore City area, at the median household income, you can see that um, less than 25,000, they're almost even. But as you look at the 25,000 to 39, well, you might as well say 40,000. And you can see that uh, Washington Village was significantly lower than Baltimore City. However, when you come to the 75,000 uh, and over, um, actually Washington Village was a little bit higher than Baltimore City. So when we talk about economic diversity, I think that uh, Washington Village definitely has that. Unemployment, the percent of population 16 years of age and older that are unemployed in the civilian labor force in Washington Village was a little bit higher than Baltimore City at 12.3% where Baltimore City was 11.1%. Family poverty rate, I think I've mentioned this before, the percent of families in Washington Village that have an income below the poverty level compared to Baltimore City overall. Uh, the Washington Village was um, actually 20.8%, where Baltimore City was 15.2%. Looking at the adult educational attainment among residents 25 years and older, um, percent of residents 25 years or older with a high school degree or less, Washington Village actually was less than Baltimore City. Washington Village was 44.4%. And Baltimore City was 52.6%. But when we look at the percentage of residents 25 years and older with a bachelor's degree or more, Washington Village actually scored a lot higher than Baltimore City at 41.1%, where Baltimore City was 25%. Hey, hello, class. My name is Julie. Um, I like us, I mean, I'm going to continue on the presentation by talking about the percent of single parent household, the percent of household with children less than, less than 18 years. Washington Village, we have 28.4%, Baltimore, 26%. Alcohol store density, the number of alcohol store class A per 10,000 residents. Washington Village 7.3 and Baltimore 4.6. Next, we're going to talk about the um, tobacco store density, the number of tobacco stores per 10,000 residents. 
In a village of Washington Village, we have 50.9%. In Baltimore City, we have 21.8%. Juvenile RS rate the number of RS per 101017 years old, 10 to 17 years old. Washington Village, we have 204.5. Baltimore City, we have 1.45.1. Which means in the city of uh, Washington Village, we have a greater rate of juvenile arrest. Domestic violence rate, the number of incidents reported by per 1,000 residents. Washington Village, we have 46.1. Baltimore, 40.6. Non-fatal shooting rate, the number of non-fatal shooting per 10,000 residents. Washington Village, we have 50.9. Baltimore, 46.5. Homicide incidents rate the number of homicides that occur per 10,000 residents. In Washington Village, we have 33.6. In Baltimore City, we have 20.9. Year houses were built 1939 or earlier. Most houses in uh, in village town were built in 1939 which gave the risks to have a, a more incident of lead. Just to mention again what Julie just talked about where um, most of the houses being built in 1939 in Washington Village and that was an increased risk for lead. Looking at this uh, table you can see that Washington Village was actually higher than Baltimore City in lead paint violations. Washington Village was 13.7 and Baltimore City was 11.8. Um, the energy cutoff rate for the Washington Village and Baltimore City, Washington Village was actually almost twice as high as Baltimore City. Um, that's something to uh, look into um, on what, uh, what was the reason for these causes. Vacant lot uh, density, the number of vacant lot per 10,000 housing units. In a city, in a Washington Village, 792.9. In Baltimore City, we have 593.1. Fast food density, the number of fast food restaurants per 10,000 residents. In Washington Village, we have 3.6. In Baltimore City, we have 2.4 which means the population in Big Town live more with fast food. The carry-out density, the number of carry-out restaurants per 10,000 residents. In Washington Village, we have 20. In Baltimore City, we have 12.7. Cornerstone density, the number of cornerstone per 10,000 residents. In Washington Village, we have 14.5. Baltimore City, 9.0. The supermarket proximity, the estimated travel time is minute to the nearest supermarket using different mode of transportation from the most populated area in a Washington Village compared to city. Washington Village, estimated travel time to the nearest supermarket is 8 minutes in baltimore city you have 3.7 estimated travel time to the nearest supermarket bus is 22 minutes in baltimore city you, you have 12.3 estimated travel time to the nearest supermarket by walking in is 26 minutes in baltimore city is 16.6 The top 10 causes of death in comparing uh, Washington Village and Baltimore City. The cause of death, uh, the top five are number one, heart disease, number two, cancer, number three, stroke, number four, HIV, number five, 
chronic lower respiratory disease. Number six, we have homicide. Number seven, diabetes. Number eight, septicemia. And number nine, drug induced death of undetermined manner. Number 10, injury. Um, just to take a minute to talk about the mortality age per 10,000 residents per age group in Washington Village versus Baltimore City. Um, you can see a difference starting from uh, 25 years going all the way to 85 years. And um, there was a market, markedly high difference in the 85 year uh, age group. And I think this has to do with um, the way they eat. Uh, there was actually no market in the community. And there is uh, one recently built on the outside of the community. But um, I think this um, is definitely related to the way they eat. Uh, these were these are the birth outcomes for Washington Village and Baltimore City. Um, we have the birth rate, teen birth rate, percent of live birth birth with inadequate spacing, percent of women receiving prenatal care, uh, percent of births with women reported smoking, percent of live births occurring preterm, percent of births classified as a low birth rate, and infant mortality rate. Um, what I want to talk about on this particular um, slide is um, the percent of births to women who reported smoking while pregnant. Washington Village was 20% where Baltimore City was 8.8%. I think this is something that needs to be um, addressed and possibly some education for this community. <laughs> Okay, hi, this is Kiva Ramsey. Um, so, these are the health services of Pigtown. Pigtown has access to health services associated with the University of Maryland. They include pediatric and emergency services, and Pigtown also has access to walk-in clinics. Um, in addition, within the community, they have a total. They have total health care, an injury center, pharmacy, and addiction counseling, which are all located inside the community. Um, Pigtown also has the Urban Behavioral Associates which is a psychologist's office that focuses on the evaluation, prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of mental, emotional, and behavioral health issues. These are the lists of government and local officials. Um, they have a home base office, which is downtown um, at the city hall. This is Neighborhood and Community Organization. The citizens of Pigtown, they focus on empowering the community by engaging them in public safety and a cleaner and greener neighborhood. They, all, they are also a resource to help citizens navigate and utilize available resources. And these are a website, this is a website, and this is the email address and Twitter account, Facebook of the individual you can reach out to about Citizens of Pigtown Association. Um, the Neighborhood and Community Organizations, the Downtown Baltimore Family Alliance, 
is fueled by the belief that communities flourish when families thrive. DBFA empowers families to access quality educational opportunities and vibrant cultural experiences. Advocates for excellent public resources. And John Bullock is the person that you can contact about this information. Pigtown Main Street. The goal of Pigtown Main Street is to create a vibrant commercial district on Washington Boulevard that can be enjoyed by residents and visitors alike. The Main Street approach is to encourage economic development within the context of historic preservation in ways appropriate to today's marketplace. The Main Street approach advocates a return to community self-reliance, local empowerment, and the rebuilding of traditional commercial districts based on their unique assets, which are distinctive architecture, a pedestrian-friendly environment, personal service, local ownership, and a sense of community. Um, they also, Pigtown also has the Southwest Partnership. The Southwest Partnership includes Holland's Roundhouse, Pigtown, Mount Clare, Union Square, Poppleton, Franklin Square, and Bar Circle. The goal is to address the collective issues of the neighborhoods and assist with the development and revitalization on a regional scale. The mission is to build a healthy, architectural, beautiful, diverse, cohesive community by choice on mutual respect and shared responsibility. They embrace all diversity from race, gender, and sexual orientation to economic, educational, and housing choice. Diversity is strength. So if you ever want to know more about the Southwest Partnership, their information is located below. Okay, so Pigtown has three elementary schools, two middle schools, but they do not have a high school. So as the students begin to approach the high school age, which I think is about 15 or 16, they have to venture outside of their community in order to continue their education. There are five churches located in the Pigtown community. They are Pleasant Rock Baptist Church, Carter Memorial Church of God in Christ, Wayman AME Church, Southern Friendship Baptist Church, and St. Luke's Episcopal Church. Okay, um, Pig Town has a variety of support systems. They range from education and job readiness to case management. They also have um, a location called Paul's Place, which in, which gives volunteers the opportunity to participate, support, and help out with programs within the community. Hi, this is Shana. I'll be starting with Community Coping and Stress. This community offers a lot of resources for patients who need them um, according to their individual needs. Um, some of the resources they offer are Alcoholics Anonymous, Maryland Youth Crisis Hotline, Baltimore Crisis Response Center, Narcotics Anonymous, Baltimore Substance Abuse Centers, Rape Crisis Center, Suicide Prevention Center, Prisoners Aid Association of Maryland, Depression and Related Affective Disorders Association, Domestic Violence Units in Baltimore City Police Districts, Family Helpline, Gamblers Anonymous, and House of Ruth Clinics, and Information Crisis Hotlines. Fire hazards in the community. A main hazard that I recognized going through the community was that the, the community is made up of townhomes. 
So the homes are very close together. You don't see any single family homes that are isolated. Um, so that is a fire risk. If one home catches fire, the others are bound to catch fire um, very quickly as well. So, but you don't see a lot of trash in the community. You don't see debris blowing in the wind. You don't see a lot of trash in the gutter. It was really clean for the most part. There are trash cans on each block. Um, most of the vacant homes uh, were being remodeled or already for sale. A lot of the homes did have for sale signs in the window. So they were kept up properly um, and didn't bring down the value of the neighborhood with them being boarded up or anything. So the neighborhood is kept clean. You can tell the residents actually care about um, how it actually looks. Fire safety in Pigtown. Um, Pigtown has a fire station within their community. Um, talking to some of the residents just walking through, they said that it does make a, um, some of a difference because the response time to their emergencies is a little shorter by them having that station right there. Um, the police protect in the neighborhood. Also, you all walking through, you always see a police officer car or a police officer walking through the neighborhood. Um, they definitely make their presence known, even though there's no actual um, district or uh, station within that community. You do see uh, the presence of an officer majority of the time. Pigtown is a part of the Southern District Baltimore City Police Department. The actual station is located outside of the community um, on 10 Cherry Hill Road, Baltimore, Maryland, 21225. Like I said before, police detection is apparent as you walk through the neighborhoods of Pigtown. They consistently patrol and secure the area. Elimination pattern for Pit Town. Their trash pickup day is Wednesday and their recycling pickup day is Friday. The modes of transportation, you'll see um, a University of Maryland shuttle um, that is taking residents to and from the University of Maryland that is located just outside of the community off of Martin Luther King Boulevard. And you also see um, the buses going into and out of the community. There, there are plenty of bus stops on Washington Boulevard. So residents really don't have to go far to wait for transportation. Hi, this is Kiba once again. And I would just like to take a minute to talk about the uh, nutritional services and just to add um, some new information that I just got it about um, the nutritional services in this area. Um, there, um, as we said before, there are a lot of fast food um, stores in the Washington Village area, such as the Shop and Go Mart, American Food Mart, um, a lot of corner stores. And we really didn't see any. Um, a grocery store but they um had there is um a grocery store just on the outside of um the the community and it is just uh actually not too long built i think it's just over a year and um, i think this is much closer for the people of washington village to um get fresh food and fresh market um looking at the reviews online I think that they're still not, that they're happy that there is a, a food store that's closer, but I think that they would have preferred um, 
a store such as Giants or Safeway with a lot more variety. Um, they talk about it's better than nothing, but still not what they uh, would prefer. bus stops or on the bus route. As we can see, um, when we went out to assess the community, there were a large portion of fast food restaurants uh, located maybe on every corner, so um, rather than the market. Many members in the community probably have poor diets due to the lack of access to healthy foods. Activity and recreation patterns. Uh, as stated before, most of the shops in the community are small convenience stores or bars. Some of them include Shakers Fine Spirits and Wine Lounge, um, Bob's Bar, Chris's Liquor, uh, The Tilted Pig, that's a lounge, uh, Miller's Liquor. They had a couple of um, restaurants, one includes the Ebenezer, Ethiopian restaurants. So there are a lot of small shops rather than um, markets to provide um, healthy food for the members in the community. Community association and community activities include the annual Pig Town Festival. It's located on Washington Boulevard, which is the mainstream. It includes a lot of fun, family, and a good time for the community to get together. Live music, games, bottomless drinks, and on holidays, they decorate, have a decorating contest where the community members decorate each other's homes and stoops and storefronts just to get community members in the festive um, spirit. And it's also a contest, so they have a winner as well. There is a library located in the community. It's located, located on the Washington Village branch on Washington Boulevard and the hours are stated um, Monday through Friday, even on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, it is, it is available. Shopping, um, we observed a lot of small shops and boutiques. We also see um, hair, hair salons, braiding hair salons as well. Small shopping include um, Dollar General, um, Two Chick Boutique, there's a Fashion Kings Urban Boutique, Fly Boutique, and an Afro Fashion and Art. Um, most of them are located on the Washington Boulevard. Methods of communication. Um, I did appreciate about this community. They do have a lot of communication going on. Um, they have a community association. And in the community association, members are allowed to bring together their thoughts and ideas and strengths and weaknesses um, to improve the community. And um, they also have a Facebook page. The Facebook page allows the members to reconnect with themselves and give updates monthly or any updates um, concerning the community, any activities that's going on. You would refer to the Facebook page or attend the um, minutes attend the meeting and they all the minutes are also located on the facebook page as well and we also have um a city paper and the picture is provided community and sexual reproduction pattern sex education is offered to students in the middle and the high school as an elective and is required by the permission of the parents for the student to attend the course must cover a number of topics, including birth control, family planning, and sexual training and infections. Parents or guardians may remove their children from any or all of the sex education classes at any time. Um, open Gates 
is a community health center located in Pigtown, which offers a wide array of services such as women's health, mental health, and substance abuse programs. They also offer free HIV and pregnancy testing, as well as from contraceptives. The LGBT community has access for free health care through the Healthcare Center of Baltimore and of the Central Maryland. Pigs Town Strengths and Weaknesses. Um, Paul's Place, that is a nationally known place. Um, very active. Acts as a um, catalyst for bringing the community back. Um, it's a very energizing place. They also have um, people open gates. Some members in the Pigtail community receive dependable primary care as well as mental health services. Pigtown's Pride Fund to help local business thrive, in which they are helping them to thrive. Um, affordable homes with holistic characteristics are one of the strengths that we observe in the community, and a sense of family and community is also a strength of the community. They are we talk to a number of uh, residents in the community and um, they have a sense of community, a sense of health and family helping each other. One um, so weakness is that we did observe is um, the underdevelopment. There are a lot of boarded up homes in the community. Um, no recognition of its community, no funding support and no politician support um, from this community. Influences on the town's belief. Uh, the blue collar culture of the big town began with individuals who work on the BNO Railroad and German immigrants who opened the butcher shop in the neighborhood. Community associations have emphasized the importance of the neighborhood's history and the blue collar origins as they rebuff attempts to rename it the Washington Village community. Um, Pigtown celebrates its culture yearly through the Pigtown Festival, as we stated before. It's a really big festival and a really fun festival to attend. Um, local food, entertainment, live family and fun, just having a good time. Community assessment phase one, an identified problem. So an analysis, um, Community members verbalize the overburden of resources and or the inability to meet the needs of all the members that are served in the community. Some of the community members fail to have a sense of achieved optimal sense of well-being. Community members verbalize Q statement, I cannot seem to maintain my basic needs from day to day. And this also has a lot to do with the um, limited resources that are held within the community. Community ineffective coping strategies due to no support. Um, so what is the problem? The main problem is they don't have any funding to support the community and recognition to help mandate success readily available to community members. Pigstown nursing problem. Oh, deficits community social support or resources. Objective is to assist the community in recognizing the strengths and weaknesses so that all members of the community to engage and improve the community so they can restore them back to their um, health. Prioritizing and collaborate with the resources needed. Informative programs slash seminars. Make resources accessible by means of word of mouth, educating and promoting um, develop and promote community advocates and leaders so that they may empower the members of the community. Create partnerships between local communities, nonprofit or organizations, and larger societies. And the outcome would be to create a community base that collaborates to seek out and elevate the demand to provide the necessary resources in the community. We have come to the end of our presentation. These are our references. And I would just like to thank um, Dr. Yoma and Professor Johnson on behalf of our group 
for giving us the opportunity to present this online.